Hey guys, we got a couple of interesting bills going on, so I thought I'd share a few of them with you. We'll take them one at a time. This is our Gen 5 build, one of them. We'll be talking about that more later. This is going to be a 6.2 LS3. This here happens to be a Gen 5 6.2 L86 with an 8-speed transmission. That's an 8L80. That is going into this chassis over here. This is actually a custom-built chassis by Curry. It's got 70s in it, long arms, a bunch of cool stuff. A lot of money in this one. So we're going to be putting the Gen 5 6.2 8-speed in this, in this vehicle. I think he's got a Gen right tank. Yeah. Gave him room for his four link. All right. So this is what we're going to talk about today. This is another Hemi to LS build. I think this is our third one in the last couple of months. This was an AEV Hemi. This is a 5.7 engine. This has a Atlas 2 speed, 5 to 1. We're going to convert it to a 3.8 to 1. And one of the reasons is a 5 to 1 gearbox with the 4 to 1 and the 6L80 is really low. That's a 20 to 1 low ratio. And you're not going to be able to get good wheel speed up. So we're going to go to a 3.8 box on this. 3.8 or 3 to 1 works great with the 6L80. This vehicle's getting a 6.2 LS3. LS3 is rated at 430 horsepower. It's really more like 450. This engine was rated at 345. And I'll tell you, this vehicle has 513s in it. And I drove it with the 5.7 non-VVT motor and with, with, with a short gearing. And it still doesn't have anywhere near the throttle response of the LS3 with 410 gearing. And I think a lot of that has to do with... Uh, uh, with a 6080 transmission so we'll uh, we'll get the body off this and we'll show you some differences between the LS and the Hemi um, in fact I can show you a couple of them right now you'll notice that the battery tray has been removed and the tip -um and the battery are pretty much exposed to the engine heat when the body's on this exhaust is very close to those components those electrical components and that's uh, that's never a good thing. Over here, you can see the steering shaft has the firewall has been cut, and the steering shaft has been moved over. Um, of course, we don't do that with the LS. Probably see over here, the engine has been hitting the firewall. Um, it's pretty tight. The LS has a lot more room. It's a much smaller engine. This Hemi is a is a very large engine. Um, <coughs> the suspension has been beefed up for the extra weight of the Hemi. The owner on this wants us to uh, change the springs out to bring the ride height down because with the LS3, um, it's definitely going to come up. Um, and there's some more differences. If you look at that PCM, you notice that's not a standard uh, US EPA production PCM for this vehicle. Uh, maybe we can give you some tips if you're doing a Hemi to LS on the wiring. Uh, Mitch and Joey have pretty much got the Hemi to LS wiring down. So you don't have to buy anything additional. Let's see what else we've got on this. This is a very clean Jeep, by the way. And when this is done, we're going to uh, make sure it stays very clean. And with the LS3 under the hood, it's going to look... Uh, it's going to look much, much cleaner. Uh, meaning the engine's a lot smaller, more compact. The engine compartment's not going to look crowded and full. I think I've built things on here. Everything else looks pretty much stock. We're gonna pull that Atlas apart, like we said, and go to a 3.8 gear ratio. Get rid of this five speed transmission. And the 5.7 Hemi is my favorite Hemi. The 5.7 VVT, I would say. It's really not a bad engine. It's just a giant engine for this engine compartment. This one's running a EGR valve, but it doesn't really matter because most of these early uh, Hemi bills weren't e US EPA compliant anyway. Uh, the, the LS engines don't run EGR valves in general. 
the Gen 4s due to the cylinder head design and the operating systems. So that's a quick look at, at this Hemi, and we'll try to keep you updated as we go along.